If you're like me and you like to maximize your cargo carrier because it has 500 pound capacity, sometimes the load gets a little tall and it blocks our taillights. So we want to stay legal on the road. The e-trailer light kit for your cargo carrier is going to solve that problem. To install these taillights, we're going to need this bracket. So you just scroll down to the related part section of this webpage and you'll be able to get the brackets. So buy them both at the same time. We give you two different options. So you can either have the incandescent version or we have an LED version. I would go with LEDs because it takes less load off the vehicle and it's going to be a little bit brighter as well. We designed this bracket and the lights to work with majority of the cargo carriers, but if you have one that's a little bit different than the standard look, like the one we see here, there is another option, which this one is also incandescent, and it's just going to wrap around this little post here. I just don't like how it's not as low profile, it doesn't look near as clean, but just know you do have options with e-trailer. These are also a little bit bigger than those round ones we were looking at before, so it's going to give us plenty of light. So let's measure real quick. So the overall length is going to be about six and a half inches and the height of these is going to be about two and a half inches. It doesn't really stick out too much compared to the round ones. Maybe three quarters of an inch at, at the very most. But then I did realize that whenever you look at this bar on the inside, we are going to lose a little bit of space. We don't really want to hit any of our contents. So if you look on the inside of the carrier, it does come in from the rail, I'd say about an inch. But all in all, if you're going for a very clean look, this is gonna be your best option when it comes to lights for your carrier. It's a very simple install. Everything is pretty much in the kit when you get the bracket and our lights. We even give you zip ties as well to kind of clean up that wiring. So let's go over that process with you just so you can see how easy it was. To get the bracket installed, I want to install it on the farthest most point right here. So all we got to do is just put it like this, drop it down, and it sits into place. I like to even it out, so get a tape measure, just eye it out. We're going to have some hardware with the kit. We're going to go with the bolt with a washer on it. And we're going to put it down through this hole, just like that. On the other side, we're going to take another washer and our nylon lock nut. I'm gonna get these just hand tight for now and install the other two. Now we're gonna center it up and then take a half inch wrench and socket to tighten it up all the way. Once that side's done, it's gonna be the same exact process on the other side. Now that the brackets are nice and mounted up, we're ready for some lights. We're gonna take our lights and we're gonna take this rubber grommet off to do that. All we have to do is just pull it off one way and it should slide right on out, kind of like that. Put the light to the side for the moment. I want to make sure that the words are upright. We're going to slide this in. You kind of just want to push it in just so it seats into there, kind of like that. And once it's just like that, we're going to take the light, make sure that the words are upright again. And we're going to put this in there and give it a little bit of pressure until that little tab snaps in like that. There we go. Now we're ready for the forward pole. Uh, one side is going to be three foot long. The other side is going to be six foot long. Six foot long one with the green wire goes on the passenger side. And then the shorter one with the yellow wire goes on the driver's side. So we're going to plug this in to our forward pole. If you don't have one, we have a wiring kit for you. Just use our fit guide to find the right one. And then what we want to do with this is I'm going to run it down the center of the shank. Then we're going to go right here and then we're going to go directly to the light once we get it lined up. We already have grease on our connections and it comes just like that out of the box. So that's nice. It's only going to go in one way. So just get it lined up. There's a little tab that goes in between these two white tabs right here. And then we can push it in. And now we have some zip ties in our kit and we can clean up this wiring a little bit. Once they're hooked up, let's go ahead and test them out just to make sure everything's working properly. So just give it power to the four pole and we can go through our functions. We got right blinker, left blinker, and the hazards are working and the running lights as well. 
So we're good there. And that's pretty much it. It didn't take a whole lot of time to install and it's a very simple upgrade for your cargo carrier just to stay legal on the road so everybody sees you stopping when you're stopping, turning when you're turning. And again, this was the e-trailer light kit for your cargo carriers. And I'm Adam with e-trailer.